Good morning. We are at the statue of Kirov. The city is actually named after him. But before that, it was Vyatka. Today, we're going to start a tour showing you exactly what's in this city. A lot of people have been asking me to go see other cities. And Kirov is the first stop on this great adventure back to Siberia. We're going to start the tour off here in the city with our buddy Lenin. This is the center, probably where they celebrate May 9th. The center is towards that way. And we're just going to get going. So let's go. Look at this beautiful shot, guys. It is about four in the morning. It is about four in the morning. And this is the square where they probably celebrated May 9th. You have that beautiful fountain in the back where the sun is rising. And that is the direction in which we are going. We are walking through the park right now. And it's really, really clean. It's nice and fresh. Um, the weather is not so cold. The reality is that it is much warmer here right now than it is in Sludanka. We got a text from her father and it was actually snowing a little bit in Sludanka. Unbelievable. And uh, yeah, we're going to turn the camera around here so you can see how peaceful these streets are in the morning. Something that is very common, of course, in cities in Russia are the signs showing you where all the tourists or all the special places are in the city because a lot of these cities are very very old hundreds of years old so they hold a lot of history and it's nice that this one has it in english and you won't get lost in that way if you speak russian or if you speak english the streets the the sidewalks here are, are nice so far uh, i saw in some places of the city where the sidewalks were completely destroyed but it's nice to see that some of them are actually ma maintained right the buildings themselves look of all different eras some modern buildings some older theaters uh buildings that are being renovated and overall everything looks good just to give you a perspective how it is here in the morning i have senya walking in the absolute middle of the street this is one of the biggest streets in the city uh there's no car coming at all and yes it is it is completely safe guys it's it's a sunday morning at four right so of course there won't be that much traffic but if you enjoy uh morning walks a city like kirov is definitely amazing guys um you know i can't imagine being in california and walking at four in the morning there's already uh traffic at four in the morning no matter what day it is but in a large city like this, uh, relatively large in my opinion, uh, there's absolutely no cars passing right now. I'll, I'll show you. This way, there's nobody coming. And there may be cars crossing the, on that side, but very, very few. I find it uh, a little bit interesting as well that I haven't seen a wooden building. A long time ago, when I made the video on Irkutsk, I asked people to tell me if there were any wooden buildings in your cities. And a lot of you guys said, yes, yes, we have them just like you guys do. But if anybody from Kirov said that they have wooden buildings, they definitely don't have as much as we do in, in uh, Irkutsk. I'll show you. All the buildings are probably more modern than anything else. These buildings look old, but they're made in recent time. Behind me is a street I never expected to see. The sights are stunning, actually. You can see they're building like a high-rise building in the back. Just the design of the street, the narrowness of it, the stairs going down. This is like a hidden gem for me. I, If I had more time, I would definitely go down this street until the freaking city ends, right? It's amazing. What do you think? Is that something you expected to see in Kirov? I know a lot of people thought that the city was ugly and dead and old, but to me, it looks more modern than anything else. We've made it to uh, sort of a big street here that seems to be closed off. Perhaps you can't see it, but the, the views in the back with the light coming out, breaking through the clouds is absolutely beautiful. Here's a sign. Uh, what does that say? Uh, does, what does that mean? Uh, I think it's street for walk oh. for a weekend. Beautiful. So as you can see, guys, 
the streets are closed on the weekend, at least on Sunday, because we were, we were out on Saturday and they were not closed. So if you want to take a morning walk in Kirov, you can come down to the street. And look at these buildings. Oh, wow. Very nice. Let's go look at that. That's our first wooden building. Good, good job, Senya. <laughs> really nice. And so Senya found, uh, pointed this out. There's an actual wooden building here. And you know that where we're from in Irkutsk, we have them everywhere. But they're not actually very common in Kirov. So we're going to see what this is about. Okay, this is a definitely a first. I have never seen a wooden structure with pillars. This seems to have a brick foundation. They're at the bottom in the white and the top is made of wood. And this building is surrounded by QR codes uh, with information and also written information. So Orthodox Vyatka, um, of course Vyatka being the original name of the city of Kirov culture. And let's go see who this guy is. Let's see if I can manage to read his name. Um, Alexander Alexander Vit Wittberg. No, Wittberg. Is that right again? Wittberg. Anyways, there he is. They made a statue for him. And we're going to continue on this journey back onto the road. Again, May 9th uh, is, didn't pass a long time ago. And so you'll see a lot of May 9th uh, decorations. We got Senya doing some clips for her Instagram. If you don't uh, know, she does like doing reels and showing photographs and, and stills of Siberia and our travels. I'll put her Instagram on the screen so you can check her page out. Hey Senya, uh, which building do you like more? The first one, this one? Or that one, the one, the, the purple one, or the one next to it. I like the one. You like, you like the other one? Yeah. It's more beautiful. But they need to paint that again, don't they? They need to fix it. Wrong, but, uh, it looks more yes, I agree. It is broken, but it could definitely be fa uh, fixed up, painted, and look at that. Really nice. We continue. You know, I've never really seen purple in so many buildings. Look, here's more purple. Interesting. That is not a very common color uh, that's used in Russia. And we've already seen it in this building, a little bit in that building, and the one we just saw. We're getting off the closed streets um, to go show you the first, basically, church that we found. You know, in Russia, there's so many churches that that are beautiful and we saw our first church here we're gonna have to check it out it's definitely painted a color that i i never expected um well actually it's a very common color but the shade of it is very different let's let's look Yeah, so we can't uh, actually get a picture together, but there's Senya. You have to imagine that I, I would be next to her playing the accordion. We are almost out of the street that's closed. I'm going to give you a quick tour on these last few buildings. And yeah, thanks, Senya. Welcome to Wild Siberia. Today we're in the city of Kirov. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of these buildings are the foundation of what Russian society is. In Russia, I've noticed that a lot of kids do arts, they do dancing, they do, they play instruments, they do a theater and stuff like this. Growing up, I really never imagined myself playing an instrument or uh, singing or being in the theater, even though I love doing these things. But behind me, there's, a, there's an art uh, studio, basically. You can see here that the children get to play and they get to do all sorts of things. In my opinion, this is very common in Russia. I know a lot of my friends, their children actually, they choose sports for them. This is the foundation of society for Russia. 
And as we continue walking, I was told by Senia that this is actually the central bank of Russia. Is that right? Yes. All right. Can you read that, please? Центральный банк, банк Российской Федерации. It's a beautiful building. Look at those faces, the decoration on it, the details. It's all in the details. And we continue walking. You can already see there's another church peeking in the background. We're going to go see that. We're going to go see the memorial of Kirov. And we're going to go see the river that Kirov was founded next to. We are here on Lenina Street, which is the main street of Kirov. And it's definitely noisier here, more cars passing. And there's, you can see there's actually still people coming home from partying. They're loud, they're, they're, uh, they're happy, they're enjoying their life here on a Sunday morning. So you have that group and this group on the opposite side. There's a beautiful building in the back. And I'm going to show you this street. You can really appreciate the fact that a lot of these streets are closed off for traffic and people could just basically relax. There's benches. There's a street just like this in uh, Irkutsk. And I think that this is very common in the Russian Federation where they, uh, the cities have these uh, open areas for people to just sit down and relax with shops on the sides. Yeah. And I'm hoping you can hear the people laughing in the background of joy. This is what life is about, guys. Be happy. Find your happiness. Those people did at 5 in the morning in a bar. I've noticed that there's a lot of uh, porta johns, porta johns uh, here where people can urinate. But I will say on the walk down this street, we did see, what was it like? Maybe five or six guys, Senya? Yeah. There was like five or six guys that were going to the bathroom in the middle of the street. And I pointed out to Senya, hey, there's enough bathrooms right on the street. They didn't have to pee on the walls. But I don't know why they did it. They were young, young boys. Maybe they're, they weren't taught to be civilized. Anyways, the, the center here has really nice buildings. We're almost to the memorial and we'll continue on to the river after that. You know, guys, the purpose of this, uh, of this channel is to make sure that we can all be friends, showing you new things. I'm exploring Kirov right now. I've never seen Kirov. I've already shown you Irkutsk and I've made nothing but, I've met nothing but good people in all these places that I visited. And I'm encouraging you to go and explore new places, just like I'm doing. I, I'm nothing special, you know, uh, there's nothing I can do that you can't. And so with that being said, let's continue on this exploration today. Please give a like and consider subscribing if you're liking this content so far. Let's go. Senia's complaining because I make her do things that she doesn't want. It's cold? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So now you're having fun. All right, I say we stop walking and just take the car. Davai, davai. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you guys don't know, but uh, Senya fights me a lot when I ask her to do things. And it's really funny because she's a very nice and kind girl, but she gets very angry very fast when I say, get on the car, please. She says, no, it's cold. Oh, it's so funny. All right, we're almost to the memorial. We're going to turn the corner here and continue on our journey. Can somebody please comment down below what the difference is? How do I know if it's a Catholic church? How do I know if it's an Orthodox church? I think it's the cross. I think the Orthodox has an extra thing on the bottom. I'm not sure. A lot of people have said, hey, why don't you visit Catholic churches? When I was in Irkutsk, the reality is I, I can't tell which is which. Um, where I come from, like in Mexico, they're all Catholic churches. Maybe there's a different one, but I wouldn't be able to tell because there's an abundance of Catholic churches. And I believe that in Russia, there's an abundance of Orthodox churches and they look like this. Let's go. 
the birds are singing. We are at a square next to the church. Um, there seems to be a nice memorial here in the middle. I will show you. Um, I'll go try and read again some Russian. But there it is behind us. Even duck. Duck? Yeah. Oh wow, there's even ducks in this random little pond. You know, these ducks are everywhere in Kirov. Even in the smallest little pond. These guys are probably lovers. They are, of course, two males. But because it's such a small pond, hey, you have to make friends somehow. And they seems to be two uh, boyfriend ducks. All right, it turns out that this is Stefan Khalturin. Uh, he didn't live that long, 1856 to 1882. If any, he, well, Senya is saying that he made or started a revolution of some sort. You can comment below if you know who he is. They have a nice little statue that they should probably repaint. And our journey continues on that road. What does he say? He has a garden and uh, like, he grew up uh, uh, flowers, vegetables ah, there. Here in Kiro? Da. Ah, хорошо, хорошо. That, but uh, you can tell him that we're looking at the city. Uh, we're making a video for my mom. And uh, this is a, a Russian spear. Da, привет, маме. Привет. Маме? Hola, mama. Маму как звать? Marta. Marta? Da. Oh, Marta, you have a good son. Like that. Thank you. The memorial here in Kirov is one of the more beautiful uh, memorials that I've seen because it sits over the Vyatka River. And to the right of me, you can see in 1941 when the war started for the Soviet Union. And to the left is the ending in 1945. Something that's very common in every major city and a lot of towns and basically every village, I've talked about it before, the Russian people will never forget they will never stop celebrating May 9th. And this is something that's absolutely beautiful because in my country, we do have Memorial Day, we have Veterans Day, we have things like this, but we don't actually have something that's dedicated to a, a great victory, which the victory in World War II was a great victory. Almost every memorial is adorned with flowers, with a lot of uh, small flags and ribbons. And even the, the children get involved by making uh, postcards like this. You know, they, they make small little designs, something beautiful. The whole community gets involved. I find that absolutely beautiful. I showed you in the Irkutsk video, the little kids taking a tour around their city, getting the history of what it is to be a Russian person in 2023. Senya is standing in front of the Ferris wheel, the one that we mentioned where we're gonna come visit. I didn't know that there was a small pond here and we're basically going to walk around this park and show you the pond and there seems to be a building over there. So let's go take this walk. Let's go. This entire area behind me is a place where people sit and study and eat. The grass is very green. The lake, uh, or the small pond rather, is right here to the left. But behind us, there's a nice cool waterfall. And behind it, there's a museum about the Kido region. So let's go look at that and then we'll see if the museum is open. Maybe it's free.
and we're gonna work our way towards the museum it seems to have some sort of um, design in the front we'll walk around and something really cool is that there's two the other guys over here fishing and it kind of gives me the the bug to bring my fishing rod out and fish I wonder what kind of fish they're there all right guys it's confirmed this guy behind us let us know that it is legal to fish at these ponds there's actually like a connection so the one you see here is uh, not the only one but basically you can fish for shuka and they say they have okun here and it's totally legal so okun i carp. carp as well but i've never fished for carp and i don't really fancy doing that but i may bring my fishing rod tomorrow in the morning and try it out just working our way towards the front nice little roads the man uh that was fishing across the lake or pond rather again told us that people can fish here and they've actually caught okun and shuka so pike and perch i may bring my fishing rod and put that to the test but we've made our way towards the center here made it here to the top i hope you've enjoyed this small tour around this park now let's go look at the rest of the city just a quick note as we're leaving the park there's these stairs here and stairs in this condition wouldn't be found in the center of irkutsk it's a huge contrast uh it's very strange it's actually very dangerous for the little kids but in Irkutsk, I never saw anything like that. But I'll turn this around so you can see how it looks. Scary. Bye. Thanks for watching.